This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a depth masking brush for concave and convex surfaces? So here I just have a simple model loaded in, and I've filled it with the white color. So before we start making this brush, we just want to quickly talk about how the depth masking works inside of ZBrush. So here I just have the model, and let's say I come over here and select the red color. Now by default, if I just have RGB on and Z add off, and I go to paint on my mesh here, and let's say I want to just paint on this area and then not paint on this area. So I want to make a brush that will allow me to only paint on this surface. Now you can kind of do this by coming in and manually coming through and trying to be very precise, but as you'll notice when I get to this edge here, it's going to paint on the other surface as well. And this is because the standard brush by default does not have any depth masking applied to it. So it's going to allow you to paint pretty much anywhere on the surface of your model. So I'm going to make a brush that will allow me to only paint on this area and not allow that color to bleed over the other side. So to do this, I just need to modify the depth settings for this brush. So I'm going to navigate up here to the brush palette, and then I'm just going to dock this over to the right-hand side. So now my brush menu is over here. And I'm just going to open up the depth area here. Now, after you open the depth area, you'll notice that the standard brush has this depth masking disabled, so it's not currently enabled. So if I come over here and turn this on, I now have activated the depth mask. Now, if you come and start painting again, you're going to notice you're not going to see much change on your surfaces there. It's still handling the same way as it was. And this is because my depth is still taking account the full top and bottom plane of your mesh here. So this little line here is basically establishing your edge, and then you have the part above the edge and the part below the edge. So to start off, we just wanna come through and make a convex brush here. So a convex depth masking brush. So I'm gonna to go to this inner depth here, and I'm gonna change this to negative 0.1. Now you don't wanna go all the way to zero because it may end up causing a little bit of artifacting. So just give it pretty much a 0.1 degree of variation. Now after I have this set, now this brush is going to paint on the one area and not paint on the other area. So if I come over here and select a blue color now, and now come back to the surface here and simply paint, you're going to notice that as I get to this edge here, you're going to see that it's going to lock into that edge or that surface and it's not going to bleed across. So this is for the convex brush here. So I can come through and paint on any of these areas that have a convex surface like this, and you're gonna notice it's not going to bleed across that area. So this will work pretty much on any of these edges that are convex. Now if I come through and try to paint on a concave area, like this edge right here, you're gonna notice it's still gonna bleed over. So we need to make a separate brush for the concave areas of your model. So to do this, we just need to flip this depth mask over here so it becomes inverted. So we need to change the outer depth to that 0.1 and change your inner depth to that negative one. So now we've taken this depth mask here and flipped it. So now if I come over and say select a yellow color here and now paint on any of those convex surfaces on your mesh here and it's not going to bleed over to the other edge. So something like that. So that's the basics of using the depth option here for your brushes. Now we just applied these to the standard brush here. So how can we go through and apply this to a masking brush? So to apply these settings to a masking brush, you just need to hold control and then modify your depth settings over here. So when you hit control, you activate the masking brush. So we just need to set the depth values for the masking brush now. So while holding control, turn on the depth masking change that inner depth to something around 0.1. And now we have the convex mask here. So now with this, I can come through and start applying a mask to these areas, and it's gonna hold that edge. So you can see now I can come through and just hit this edge, nice. That's gonna give me a precise mask around those convex areas. It's a really clean result there. And then if I hold control and now flip this, so say do this to a 0.1 and a negative one. It's now going to give me the ability to hit those concave surfaces the same way. So I come through now and apply masking and it's not gonna bleed across that edge. Now, if you're happy with these masking brushes, depending which one you have, you can save these out to use them later. 
So to do this, just make sure you still have control held down on your keyboard, and then just come up here and click Save At. Then you can save your convex masking brush and your concave masking brush. And then the next time you start ZBrush, you can just come to your brush menu here and select the corresponding masking brush and go right ahead and start masking. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!